Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley, also known as Ashra Plays on my other socials. And we are back with another mods review video for today. This time we're gonna be focusing on small mods that will enhance your gameplay and make it feel a lot more realistic. And so usually for these type of videos, I use my model sim Chastity to showcase these mods, but I'm gonna be using my sim self for today. And speaking of my sim self, your girl's birthday is coming up and to celebrate, I'm going to be hosting a giveaway for the month of June and I have a lot of exciting content coming up so please stay tuned for that and subscribe so you don't miss out. But as always all the mods that I mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description down below. But before we get into this video I wanted to quickly show you guys this lot. This is David's Restaurant by Jacku Sims and I did make a few changes to it and convert it into a cafe instead. I don't know, it just gave me cafe vibes, but I am in love with this lot. Like this has to be one of my favorite lots ever. But we're gonna jump right into the video and go over the first mod. And this is the No Music Notes mod by Chris29. And this mod is pretty self-explanatory. So as you can tell by the intro, my sim self is wearing her earbuds and this is the bonnie pods override i already covered this mod in a previous favorite mods video so definitely check that out but as you can see here she has no music notes coming out of the earbuds while she listens to music and i think this just makes the game feel so much more realistic and that's not just with the earbuds that's with any type of radio so if we go into the radio category and put down any radio let's just say this one right here if we turn this radio on as you can see here, no music notes are coming from the speaker. So yeah, this is a very small, tiny mod, but I definitely think it is a game changer because it just gets rid of those like very intrusive music notes. So the next one I'm going to be covering is very similar to the previous mod and this is the No Lot Trait VFX mod by Lothario. And just like the previous mod, this just gets rid of the visual effects in the game. And so if you use lot traits, like for this lot in particular, we're using the convivial trait, the homie trait, and the great acoustics trait. Whenever your sims gain a skill pertaining to these traits, they get this like light bulb effect over their heads but i just find that to be very distracting and so now when my sim gains a skill pertaining to a lot trait they will no longer have that visual effect over their head so it says here for the convivial trait that it makes it easier for sims to practice charisma comedy and mischief so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to this sim here and we're gonna go into the mischief category and do a prank with her and when she does interaction she'll no longer have a visual effect over her head and speaking of interacting with other sims there is a very important mod that i want to share with you guys and this is the smarter pie menu mod by twisted mexi and let me tell y'all this is probably going to be like my most used mod ever and so with a recent patch update the sims had reorganized all of the categories and so if you go into like the friendly category there's like a bunch of different subcategories that you can go into and interact with other sims with however i'm still adjusting to all these subcategories and i still struggle with finding the right interaction to do with other sims and so this mod just makes it very easy to find what you're looking for let's say that i want to discuss interests with the sim here all i need to do is just click on the sim and then type in discuss and as you can see here it automatically pops up it makes it so much easier to interact with other sims such a game changer okay moving on to the next gameplay mod we have the build skills with earbuds mod or aka the social skill builder mod by mizor yuki and with this mod your sim is able to gain a skill by listening to a podcast or an audiobook with their earbuds so with that being said, this mod does require the fitness stuff pack because you are using earbuds. And if you want this mod to feel a lot more realistic, then you're going to need City Living because it utilizes the talk show station for the podcasts and audiobooks. In order to access the podcast or the audiobooks, what you're gonna to need to do is click on your sim, go into earbuds, and then in here, as you can see, there's two new categories. We have podcasts and then we have audiobooks. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of audiobooks to choose from and depending on 
on each audiobook, you can gain a skill. So as you can tell by the title of this audiobook, how to tell the black keys from the white keys in the icon, this is going to raise my sim self's piano skill. This one will raise her cooking skill and I do want her cooking skill to be raised. So we're going to click on this. And so now my sim self is wearing her earbuds and she's listening to an audiobook. And if you listen closely, it's the talk show radio station from City Living. And then when you check the skills, she is currently gaining a skill in cooking. And your sim will also gain a moodlet from listening to the podcast or audiobook. So it says here that she's focused from listening to audiobook, learning something new with minimal effort, sign me up. So at this point in the video, you can tell that my sim self does not have a plumb bob over her head. And usually to achieve this, I will use the Wicked Whim settings to turn headline effects off. So if you go into the settings and then scroll down to headline effects settings, there is an option to disable the headline effects. However, if you just want the plumb bob or Moved and you still want the headline effects turned on, I have two mods available for you. So for the first one, it is the Smaller Plumb Bob mod by Logical Sims. So what I'm going to do is turn back on the headline effects to show you this mod. So as you can see here, we have a teeny tiny plumb bob over Ashley's head. <laughs> And Illogical Sims gives you different options to choose from. So I believe this is the 25%. This is the smallest version you can get, but you can also get the 50% and then the 75% plumb bob size. With this plumb bob, it's just a lot less intrusive than the normal size plumb bob. And you're still able to have the headline effects on. So you can hover over Sims and you'll be able to easily see the Sims name. But if you just want the headline effects turned on and you just don't want the plumb bob altogether, there is another mod for that. And this is the Missing Plumb Bob mod by Mint Valentine. And it does essentially the same exact thing as this mod. However, there is just no plumb bob here altogether. So just two different options to choose from, just depending on your personal style of gameplay. But for me personally, for the most part, I just turn all headline effects off. Okay, so for the next mod I'm going to be showing is such a game changer and I have to give a special shout out to L, aka Elkrez because she showed this in her previous mod video and the moment I saw it in her video, I had to download it. It is the hidden highlight mod by Foggity. And so with this mod, it removes the white outline and highlights when hovering over objects and sims. So if I hover over my sim self right here, as you can see here, there's no white outline. And I'm just so upset that I'm just now finding out about this mod because I hate the white outline with a passion. So if you click on like this counter here, there's no white outline. Like this computer, no white outline. Chair, no white outline. And this mod also works in build mode. So as you can see here, there's no white outline. However, the objects are still highlighted when you hover over them, which is very helpful, especially in build mode. And you can determine which objects you wanna move. But for the most part, both in build and live mode, no white outline. <laughs> so for the next one I'm going to be showing you guys, I'm going to need my sim self to bake a cake. And the reason why I'm showing you guys this mod is because this is the <laughs> Ageless Birthday mod. I also have the creator's name on the screen here for you guys because I, I just don't want to butcher their name. <laughs> And this mod is pretty self-explanatory. So whenever your sims do the blow out candles, make a wish, or taste frosting interaction on a cake, they will no longer age up. I love this mod so much because I like to play with my sims with a long, and I mean very long lifespan. However, I still want my sims to celebrate birthdays from time to time. So this just makes my gameplay feel so much more realistic because I can actually have a dedicated day out of the year for my sims to have a birthday. So let's say we want my sims birthday to be like this day here we can add a holiday type in ashley's birthday add a few holiday traditions and so now every tuesday in summertime my son self can celebrate her birthday and she doesn't have to age up so yeah it just makes the gameplay feel so much more realistic and it allows you to celebrate your son's birthday multiple times without them aging up so we're gonna have her make a wish hmm. <laughs> Oh, not her missing. <gasps> but as you can see here, she stayed the same age. So if we check her symbology, it still says that my son self is a young adult and she still has 33 days to age up. But if you also noticed, there aren't any sparkles coming off of the cake. And I have a mod for this as well. <laughs> this is from the No Food Sparkle mod by Helen the Hunter. 
So now whenever your sim cooks an excellent quality meal, there will no longer be a sparkle effect on the dish. So now I'm gonna have my sim self grab a slice of cake. And as you can see here, my sim self ignored the bar stools here and went straight to a dining table instead. And this is from the preferred tables when eating mod by Similarity. As the title of the mod states, your sims will now prefer eating at a dining room table rather than a bar stool or even sitting down on the couch or even just standing. I love this mod so much. <laughs> So the next two mods I'm going to be showing you guys requires the Bust the Dust kits, and they are both made by Lothario. The first mod is No Clean Floor Sparkles, and this removes the annoying ass sparkling effect that you get on the ground. I hate that effect because not only does it show up in live mode, but it also shows up in build mode. <laughs> it is so annoying. So with this mod, or if you could tell by my Let's Play series, there aren't any type of like sparkling effect on the ground whatsoever. And that's because I'm using this mod, but I'm also using another mod by Lothario. And this is the No Audio Dust Bunnies or Filth Fiend mod. And there are three different versions of this mod. For me, I have this option right here. And this removes the audio that plays when transitioning between dust levels and removes the dust bunnies and filth beans but these two mods actually come from like a larger mod pack if that's what you want to call it but it's called the bust of dust overhaul and i basically have like all of these mods in my game <laughs> but i just wanted to focus on these two mods because i think these definitely play a role in making my gameplay feel a lot more realistic so if you notice while my sim self was vacuuming the tv was on and my sim self was not watching the tv whatsoever and that's because i have a mod that instantly turns the tv on by a simple click of a button and this is the turn on tv mod by mizor yuki and man do i love this mod so much it just makes the gameplay feels so much more realistic. Like you can have the TV on while your Sims are doing chores around the house. Like my Sims was doing earlier. We could turn on like the music TV. You can do like action, comedy, cooking, but my absolute favorite is the fireplace channel. And I just, I just think this is so realistic to me because this is exactly what I do in my own home, especially around the holidays. And I think this will be so perfect for when it's winter time in the game and your Sims are decorating a Christmas tree and they have like the fireplace channel on. It's such a small mod, but it's so useful to me. It's very useful. The next two mods I'm gonna be showing are both by Little Miss Sam. And so for the first one, this is the improved yoga mat mod. And this mod adds two different interactions to your yoga mat. So we have a anti-anger routine and then we also have a be happy routine. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat these two buffs off so that my sim self is feeling fine. So I can show you guys the be happy yoga routine. And I think yeah. this mod is oh. very useful, especially when your sims are angry and they can just do a quick yoga routine to calm themselves down. I think it just gives the yoga mat a lot more purpose in your gameplay. Benji, what do you need? Oh, he needs to go outside. Oh. <laughs> Benji, baby, it's okay. Oh, he's so adorable though. And as you can see here, she got a happy buff from doing a good yoga routine. Ashley is feeling pleased after thinking back on one of her best days. Okay, so for the next mod by Little Miss Sam is the improved spa day tablet. And this mod, as well as the mod I just showed, requires the spa day pack. Should have said that a little bit earlier. <laughs> But you're going to need the spa day tablet in order to access this mod. But originally with the spa day tablet, you're only able to make one beverage. And I think it's the fizzy fruity drink. But now with this mod, you're able to make a wide variety of drinks. And I think this is perfect for when your sims are hosting parties or just different types of events. You're now able to make like bubble tea. You can also serve tea on this. Serve liquor. <laughs> coffee and just regular drinks like orange juice and milk lemonade like there's just a lot more options that you can do with this so what i think we're gonna do i think we're gonna do let's do mango milk bubble tea so now we instantly have six different bubble tea drinks here that we can drink on and we didn't have to go to the bubble tea shop to get it all right, Benji, come on. <laughs> Clearly he needs to go out for a walk. I'm, I'm gonna let her take him out on a walk. Also, I'm cheating her needs. And this is with the UI Cheats mod. I, I covered that in a previous mods review video. 
While my son stuff is taking Benji out for a walk, I'm actually going to show you guys the next two mods that I have in my game. And both of these mods are made by Simulated Flowers, and this is the No Free Toys or No Free Books mod. Originally, when you buy a bookshelf or a toy box out of the Build By catalog, it comes with a wide variety of books and toys. But I find that to be realistic because when you go to like an Ikea or something, you're not you're not getting a two for one special. Like they're not handing out free toys along with your toy box or free books with a bookshelf. So I have these two mods in my game to make my gameplay more realistic and get rid of like the toys and books that come with these items. And so I have this Moschino bookshelf here and then this toy box, I believe this comes with the kids room pack if I'm not mistaken, but I'm also gonna put a CC toy box out as well as a CC bookcase because this mod also applies to CC items. All right, so update. It turns out the no book mod does not work because there's still books in the bookshelf, but it looks like the toy box still works. So even when you click on custom content toy boxes, there's no toys in there. And I think this is also applied to dog toy boxes as well, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yeah, so even pet toy boxes doesn't come with any free toys. It's such a bummer that this one doesn't work though, because I've had this mod in my game for so long, for like years, and it's always worked. I don't know what caused it to stop working. It looks like it's the same for CC bookshelves as well. Dang, okay, well. <laughs> I still find this mod to be very helpful and hopefully someday in the future this mod will work again. So my son stuff has returned back from her walk with Benji and I think I'm gonna have her go ahead and call it a night and go to bed to show you guys the next two mods I have in my game. So my sim is heading to bed and as you can tell there are no Z's above her head and this is from the No Z's mod by Chris29. I actually already covered this mod in a previous favorite mods review video but I wanted to touch on it again just in case anyone missed out on that mod. But I just think that this is such a great mod to have in your game. It makes your sim sleeping feel less intrusive because none of those really large Z's are covering their face. And yeah, it's just like another small mod that I think is a must have for realistic gameplay. And so the final mod that I'm gonna be showcasing in today's video is by Psycho Legs, and this is the all beds give the same energy, comfort, and stress relief. And so originally, whenever you put down like a very cheap bed, your Sims will wake up with an uncomfortable buff about their back hurting. But with this mod, all the beds in game, and this is including custom content beds, are upgraded by default. So it gives your Sims energy and it also gives them a comfort boost. And if you have the tiny living stuff pack, this mod applies to Murphy beds as well. And it fully upgrades them so now your Sims will not have a chance of dying from their Murphy bed. So I'm actually gonna have my Sim wake up real quickly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down the cheapest bed we can find in the catalog to show you guys that she won't get an uncomfortable buff. All right, we're putting down this used double futon from the City Living Pack and we're gonna have her sleep in it. But as you can see here, we have like the triple arrows right here, which means that my Sims energy is gaining pretty quickly. And usually with this type of quality bed, we would have like one arrow, but as you can see, it's filling up pretty quickly. But I'm gonna wake my Sim up and she got a happy buff from sleeping in. And it says here, perfect firmness, like sleeping on a cloud, or that is what a cloud would totally feel like anyway. So yeah, she got a happy buff from sleeping on this janky ass bed. <laughs> Actually, there's one more mod I wanna quickly touch on first before I end today's video. And that is the Sims 2 font mod by Mizoriyuki in the Pancake One. And this mod is a override mod that replaces the Sims 4 font with the Sims 2 font. And I just wanted to quickly cover this mod because I did get a few questions about it. So as you can see here, the fonts for everything is now changed. I know that the Pancake One and Mizoriyuki have another font, I think for the Sims one but this is an override mod and you can only have one version in your game at a time so just keep that in mind when downloading these fonts but those are all the mods that i wanted to show in today's video i hope you guys were able to find a few mods that you can put into your game to make your gameplay feel a lot more realistic again all the mods linked in today's video are linked in the description but if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and comment i'd very much appreciate it please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my giveaway that's coming up next month and you also don't miss out on more mod review videos on my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.